fourth generation Ford Focus Estate gets more boot space, sleeker looks, a more user friendly interior, more efficient engines and some suspension tweaks that aim to remind us what made the Focus great in the first place. It's not the biggest car or the cheapest estate in its sector, but it might just be the most appealing all-rounder. This fourth generation Focus estate, like its predecessors, has a reputation as a compact family station wagon with the ability to entertain at the wheel. And if you enjoy your driving, that's something you'll appreciate pretty early on the first time you try one. With this load carrying variant, Ford's standardized the supple independent rear suspension configuration that you can't have on the volume 1 litre petrol and 1.5 litre diesel hatch variants. That makes quite a lot of difference to the ride of this car over poor surfaces. As ever with any focus, body control through the bends is exemplary, allowing you at the wheel to make the most of the stiff new C2 platform the feel some power steering and the torque vectoring control system that helps you get the power down through the bends. It all combines to create a car that can really still reward at the wheel, even in its most affordable forms. There's still nothing else in this segment that feels quite the same, yet it still does the sensible stuff well too, being decently refined with confident braking and a lovely tactile gear shift. Efficiency is up to scratch, even if you select one of the mainstream petrol engines, all of which are three cylinders in size. Most tend to go for the one litre EcoBoost unit offered with either 85, 100 or 125 PS. The latter option manages up to 48.7 mpg on the WLTB combined cycle and up to 108 grams per kilometre of CO2 on the NEDC cycle. That's providing you select the most frugal of the three provided standard driving modes. Eco, normal and sport settings are also available. The quicker power plants can be ordered with the option of Ford's latest 8-speed auto gearbox, as can the two 150 PS engines, the 1.5-litre EcoBoost petrol and the 2-litre EcoBlue diesel unit we're trying here, which can tow up to 1.8 tonnes. There's also an ST Estate model offering the choice of either a 280 PS 2.3 litre EcoBoost petrol engine or a 190 PS 2 litre EcoBlue diesel. Behind the wheel, Ford hopes you'll find the ambience of this fourth generation model much more inviting. To that end, the dashboard has been pulled forward and there's a slimmer lower centre console. Plus, that new body shell has freed up more room for shoulders and knees. As a result, you no longer feel quite so hemmed in at the wheel, but by the same token, there's also slightly less of the cockpit style positioning that we rather liked before. You can't fault the cleaner, sharper ergonomics though, aided by a massive 50% reduction in button clutter, with as many functions as possible relocated to this prominent SYNC 3 infotainment screen that, in keeping with current automotive fashion, sprouts from the top of the dash. Let's try the rear seat. And one of the most important things about this fourth generation Focus is the way that its longer C2 platform has so much improved space in the back. The space on offer here certainly doesn't redefine what the family hatchback segment can offer, but it does at least now typify it. In a Focus, backseat folk are these days now much treated as they would be in a rival Golf, thanks to more room for knees, legs and shoulders. We'll finish with a look at the boot, which offers up to 728 litres of space if you load it to the roof. That's quite a big increase on the figure you'd get in a Focus hatch, up to 443 litres. Fold down the 60-40 split rear bench and you're looking at up to 1,620 litres for the estate and up to 1,320 litres for the hatch. Bear in mind that these figures will reduce if you opt for either a full-sized spare wheel or the optional B&O audio system. And in summary, well, the estate car is quietly staging a revival and models like this are the reason why. Maybe that's merely down to a backlash against suburban SUVs that once smacked of active lifestyles but now just scream shopping and school run. 
But we think it's equally true that the estate car has never been a more complete product. If the concept of a small station wagon seems to you a contradiction in terms, then this one might make you think again. <laughs>